Hey guys, in case you're looking for some reading material in the field of machine learning, let me just share some of the bookmarks that I stored to go through this weekend. So let me just quickly jump in and then uh, provide you the links as part of the description, but I'll just show you exactly what the content is in the next couple of minutes. Uh, first of all, let me start by showing you what I found a bit useful from my last week's reading. And if you remember, if you have watched my previous uh, video from last week, I suggested, or at least I uh, I mentioned that I'd be going through this paper. This is uh, it's still a good read. I mean, there is no, it's, it's an easy read, I should say, because they are just using dense unit on a specific application. So if you are really into this specific application, you may find this paper to be useful. And the other thing that I found a bit difficult to read, but a good concept is image super resolution via iterative refinement. This is by Google guys. So there is a lot of math in here. Uh, so if you really want to digest this entire thing, it does not, it, it, it does take a little more than longer than a uh, weekend. So I definitely recommend these two from my last week's uh, reading. I am bookmarking this in my almost semi-permanent uh, bookmark location so I can go back uh, and read these over and over. Now coming to what I plan on reading this week, this is something uh, hot off the press. Most of these are quite recent, like published in the last week or so. I literally ran into this yesterday. So this is Task Assisted uh, Generative Adversarial Networks for Resolution Enhancement and also Modality Translation. And this is in fluorescence microscopy. And I always like to see these type of publications in fluorescence microscopy. And this is a group I uh, definitely uh, recognize and uh, respect, of course. So I'm very curious about exactly what their findings are. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a long read. It says 26 pages. And uh, so definitely uh, keeps me occupied uh, for a while. And the other one that I saved is uh, Conv convit, I guess, uh, improving vision transformers with soft con uh, convolutional inductive biases. So uh, I just looked at the abstract and I thought uh, maybe I'd like this. I don't know much more than what I read in the abstract. So basically they're talking about convolutional architectures and vision transformers and how if we can com combine those two uh, can we actually enhance, get an enhanced network. So I'm, I'm uh, looking forward to reading this. And uh, the next one is uh, uh, out from um, from here, local to me, uh, Berkeley. Uh, this group, they published about universal weekly supervised segmentation by pixel to segment contrastive learning. They also have a corresponding publication that I kind of, uh, I'll share links to both. I would like to start with a plain English explanation. So it does give me some initial information in terms of how to interpret, how to understand the actual paper when I get to that. But uh, this is, again, uh, sounds very, very interesting if you're into, uh, into image analysis, image processing. Here is the corresponding paper by these guys. And the next three are like, I think these are like a bit easy to read. Uh, well, not this one. Uh, I just uh, jumped one step ahead. I saved this one. Again, this is uh, published 18th April. Machine Learning Accelerated Geometry Optimization in Molecular Simulation. I'm interested in this because I know about density functional theory. So this is basically where you're modeling materials using quantum mechanics rather than the material properties. Yeah. So if you are into density functional theory, if you have a physics background or even computational chemistry type of background, then uh, this can be a very, uh, sorry, this can be a very useful or uh, you know, at least it, uh, you'll, you hopefully will find this to be uh, useful. Again, this is by uh, a group from Carnegie Mellon University. So um, obviously I'm hoping to find some nice meat in this material. The next three are, uh, I, I would say very easy reading, probably a few minutes, uh, or, you know, uh, per paper, because these are application ones. So this one is about interactive automation of COVID-19 classification through X-ray images. Uh, I think these guys are from a university in Pakistan, if I'm not wrong, no, Malaysia right there. Sorry about that. I, I saw the link.pk and uh, I thought these guys are from Pakistan. But anyway, these are uh, a group from Malaysia, but apparently they put together, uh, you know, uh, the, the uh, deep learning part with uh, some sort of a, a flask, I don't know, but they created a web page that's interactive. I'm afraid even before looking at this paper, uh, in most of these, with most of these uh, type of papers, 
I get so irritated at the end when I realize that they haven't published the code. But hopefully, if I like what I see, I'll reach out. And most of the time, these guys, uh, these these authors, I shouldn't say these guys. I mean these these researchers are, uh, you know, they they usually are willing to share the code. In most cases, sometimes they just flat out refuse, and I don't know how pub any anyone publishes any material without uh, publishing the code. Frankly. Uh, sorry about that quick rant, but moving on, another uh, paper, I think these guys are from India right there, and in fact, they have my name right there, Srinivas Institute of Technology, so I must read this. Uh, this is about plant quality detection. Again, I suspect this is basically a uh, some sort of a classifier that they use to classify. Uh, this is, again, a specific application-focused uh, 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 paper right there. And finally, another one that's application-focused. This is mask detection, detecting correct mask. Why do I read these papers? even though they look to be straightforward and simple. Uh, I like to know where the real applications are. Of course, I'm looking at the biomedical uh, applications and I'm also looking at this uh, density functional theory. Uh, I'm, I'm very much curious about what uh, applications, you know, where is machine learning used? And of course it's used in many, many areas, but I save the ones where I know that I'll probably understand a little bit uh, because I have some uh, fundamental background in that area. So here you go, very busy weekend uh, along with bicycling and other activities. Hopefully I'll get to most of these. Uh, hopefully you'll find some of these to be useful and uh, and benefit from at least spending your five minutes watching this video. So thank you guys and enjoy the weekend.